Hi and welcome to MRTV. Finally, a new VR headset here on the channel. This is Exerspace Manova. And some of you might remember it. This is the project of HTC founder Peter Cho. Now, this will give you access to a VR world called Exerspace Manova. And the ambitious goal of Exerspace is to deliver a metaverse just like in Ready Player One. I am intrigued. Now, I'm part of an internal study to find out how well the German people will enjoy this. So this study is made by German Telecom, so I cannot reveal what I actually think about this. But I've asked German Telecom if at least I can do an unboxing and a little short first impressions. And they allowed me to do this, so this video. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews, you're getting the latest news and you're seeing hardware first like the Exospace Manova. So if you're into virtual reality then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything and now let's unbox this. And this is the box that the Exospace Manova comes in. Very nice box design, everything is very well designed and it does not feel like some kind of better product. This feels like a fully fledged product and I'm looking forward to unbox it now. So let's get it out of the box, another box here. And once we open this, we'll find a hard case. And you know what? I love it when headsets come in hard cases because then you can easily transport them anywhere. So this is a very nice touch. This is already good for a thumbs up for the channel and also for the packaging here. <laughs> okay, we have some manual here to read and this is also a very nice manual. Everything is exactly explained how to use it, how to set it up. So that is also nice. So now let's get to the hard case and let's have a look at the actual hardware, the Exospace Manova all-in-one headset. So let me unbox this here. Let's get rid of this here, this ribbon. And now let's open it. So the first glimpse at the headset, we get it now. So here it is. This is the all-in-one headset. So taking it out and in terms of weight, well, it is light. It is really light comparable to the Quest 2, probably even a bit lighter. What else in the box? Okay, here's the network adapter. There's some batteries for the one controller, the one controller and USB cable for the charging and a lanyard for the one controller that is in the box. So this controller is actually a three degrees of freedom controller like we've seen that with the Daydream for example or with the Gear VR but this is really only optional. Actually all the tracking and all the input is being done by hand tracking. So let's get rid of this protection foil. Yeah, I better don't talk when I do these things because I know you want that. You want to listen to it. <laughs> That's a funny thing. Right, so there are two cameras in the front for the tracking. And we have here on and off button, function button. We have a USB-C port for the charging. And we have two microphones here and a 3.5 millimeters audio jack. So that's everything we got here. Also now let's have a look at the lenses. So first of all, there are nose flaps so that there's not much light coming in and that's good. And now, ah, <laughs> okay. And the other one. Yes. So unfortunately we do not have IPD adjustment. That is a bit sad here. So most probably that's only going to be good for those with a normal IPD of around 64 millimeters, but we'll have to find out in tests. All right, this was the unboxing of the Exospace Manova headset here. And well, I have also already like set it up and I've already looked through secretly. Yeah, but I'm now going to put this on again. I'm going to let you know about my first impression 
of this all-in-one headset. First of all, I can tell you this is light. This is very comparable with the Quest 2, probably a bit lighter. So the form factor is indeed nice. So let me put this on now. And actually now it's it's starting here. <laughs> And I can actually oh I'm I'm back in the club yeah I just went to this club that they have it's called Borealis <laughs> 76 so people are dancing here okay you have you got me here you you got me while I was checking this out okay let me power this off so wow it's still running still dancing here now now it stopped okay yeah in terms of how it feels on the face. It is it is good because it is quite um yeah it's quite light that's the point about about this headset here So in terms of how it feels that is definitely nice one thing unfortunately it does not have IPD adjustment there's no IPD adjustment whatsoever so I have 64 millimeters of interpupillary distance so I don't have a problem but for people who have a bigger IPD or a smaller this might be a problem so in terms of how it feels on the face it's nice again let me tell you I'm part of this internal test project so I can't reveal too much here this is still early software so I don't want to comment too much on the software on the Manova world but I can tell you that, that, that I did meet some people there already and I was listening to a presentation there this all worked well but I don't want to comment on the stuff that I saw there since it's internal. But I still want to comment a bit on the quality of the picture and these kind of things. So this has a resolution of 2880 times 1440. It's one screen. So it's very comparable to the very first Windows Mixed Reality headsets like the Lenovo Explorer, for example. And I do feel reminded about this. This also has an LCD panel. So that is very comparable to these a bit older headsets. So what is the, um, the quality like? Very comparable to, to those as well. So not bad, that's for sure. For a standalone headset, let me remind you, those Windows Mixed Reality headsets, they were like PC VR headsets, they were like connected to your computer, but this is standalone. So you get this kind of quality, I would say, in direct comparison to the Quest 1, probably something comparable like that, but not comparable to the Quest 2. The Quest 2 does look better. Anyways, I believe that this will be more about the software, right? About this Manova world, about this one social network where you, according to the company, where you should be doing all kinds of stuff, like meeting new friends, like uh, working out, like getting some work done, having your business meetings. And this is all more a software and platform play rather than like, okay, this is now a headset where you can play Beat Saber with and you will not be able to do that. Very important to understand for you guys, if you're waiting for that quest killer where you can play your Beat Saber and all these games, this is not it. This is something totally different. And I hope that, well, they will come to market and I hope that they can make this happen. And once, I'm not in an internal test, but once I can review this as um, uh, consumer-facing hardware, I will give you the full review, of course. So at the moment, I can only give you my first impressions. The, the, the hardware is solid, I would say. Not comparable to the Quest 2, though, but all in all, as like a headset that will give you access to this Manova world, that is something that I can believe can work with this. And uh, unboxing everything, it everything worked well. Yeah, let me know what you think about this project. If you're interested in this Manova world, do let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you enjoy my content, again, make noise for the algorithm. Give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, write a comment. What do you think about this? Are you interested in this Manova world which they want to make like the Oasis from Ready Player One? Do let me know in the comment section. And if you love this channel and you simply need more content from me, then become a member of the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. It's my Patreon channel. You get more information, you get behind the scenes information and you get 
yeah, you get um, news like this and reviews earlier than everyone else, right? So for one dollar, it is a great investment. So go there, mtvelite.com. I'm looking forward to meet you there. That's it. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.